come to our devotional thought for today. Continuing looking at the I am's of Jesus, today we come to our third and it is, I am the door for the sheep. All who ever came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep didn't listen to them. I am the door. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. Last year, I spent part of a sabbatical in Cambodia. Now, I've been really blessed in my life to visit many parts of East Asia and Southeast Asia. But this trip to Cambodia was my first into that country. A week or two before arriving, I read an article in the newspaper that said that the number of robberies and holdups in Cambodia of tourists were on the rise. I think that planted a seed in my mind. When I was uh, when I arrived, I was shown around by my friend, and as we travelled back to the hotel, he pointed out some of the areas that I might want to avoid, and they seemed alarmingly close to the hotel that I was staying in. Anyhow, the next morning I got up and headed out uh, to do a bit of sightseeing. It was a swelteringly hot day and I think the seed in my mind started to bloom and it began to feel very unfamiliar. All around me taxi drivers and tuk-tuk drivers did what they do all over Asia and that is shout over to people for their custom. This spooked me out and um, within about 20 minutes I didn't feel safe at all and could bear no more. And I headed back to the hotel as quickly as I could. Now the hotel was open plan. So it was only as you entered into your room that you in a sense left outdoors and went indoors. Hot, bothered and very afraid by then. I reached the door, got out my key, opened the door, entered, closed the door, locked it. And stayed there for the rest of the day until evening time until I was hungry and, and had to go down to into the hotel to get something to eat. The door represented to me safety and behind it I did feel secure and spent the day there feeling that very much. Now before I go any further I have to say that it was actually all in my head and I eventually spent a very safe very happy and enjoyable week visiting fantastic work and meeting all kinds of amazing people in Phnom Penh, uh, the capital of Cambodia. But in those early days, particularly that first day, it was the door of the hotel room. The way in to safety and once in protection from the outside. It was these two thoughts that Jesus combined when he referred to himself as the door. The door wasn't an entrance into a hotel room, rather it was an entrance into an enclosure with walls that were made of rocks piled up on one another. And it was where sheep were put in, uh, like a pen or an enclosure for them to be put into overnight, um, that were built out in the, the pastoral areas, the, the uh, fields where the, where the sheep grazed. Often the shepherd literally lay across the entrance to these pens, acting as a door or a gate. So anyone who wanted to enter or anything that wanted to enter had to go through him. He was the entrance and he doubled up also as the protection, the guarantee of safety for all inside. Now, when Jesus said, I am the door, the way he said it, there was an emphasis. And it was, I am the door. There is no other entrance into the sheep pen that I'm talking about. And of course, he wasn't talking about farming. He wasn't talking about literally being a shepherd of the animals that are sheep. He was talking about people coming to God. He was talking about God's kingdom and the means of salvation. In Christ's enclosure, 
God's kingdom, his rescued family. We find security when we're facing illness and death. We detect a hand upon us, working in all things as we go through life. We discover that there's a real purpose for us living in this world and that we're not just random life forms that exist for a short time and then disappear again. But we also find forgiveness of sin, removal of guilt and regret and peace with God. We find that God is rather than one to be feared, one to be enjoyed like a loving father. And just as that door in my hotel room in Cambodia was the entrance into a place of safety. So Jesus is the way to peace with God and the security, the peace of mind, the peace of heart, the sense of peace with God that salvation brings. Let's pray together. For the joys and for the sorrows, the best and worst of times, for this moment, for tomorrow, for all that lies behind. Fears that crowd around me for the failure of my plans, for the dreams of all I hope to be, the truth of what I am. For this I have Jesus, the door. For the tears that flow in secret in the broken times, for the moments of elation or the troubled mind, for all the disappointments or the sting of old regrets, all my prayers and longings that seem unanswered yet. For this, I have Jesus the door. For the weakness of my body, the burdens of each day, for the nights of doubt and worry when sleep has fled away, needing reassurance and the will to start again, a steely-eyed endurance, the strength to fight and win. For this, I have Jesus the door. Lord Jesus, this morning I thank you that you are the way to peace with God. I praise you for that, for the hope and promise and potential that lies within it. May I knock on that door and may, may I enter it enthusiastically this day. To your honour and glory I pray. Amen. And God's blessing be with you today and we'll see you again on Friday morning for the next of our I Am's of Jesus.